day, welcome back to another video. I'm currently on holiday with a few friends in Cornwall. So I've decided to vlog our day starting with a place called St. Nectons Glen, which is just where I'm on the way to now. So um, I thought I'd vlog it because it's supposed to be a really beautiful waterfall. Anyway, I'm sorry if it's really windy. I have actually just um, bought a mic cover, which is on the top here. So hopefully you can hear me and it's not too disrupted by the wind. Um, but yeah, we'll see when I watch this back. So I've been staying here for a few days with some friends in Newquay, which is about an hour south from where we are right now. So uh, Tintagel is actually the place of King Arthur's castle. And there's the apparently the real sword and stone here. But anyway, we're not even gonna go there. So instead, we're going to a place called St. Nectons Glen. And then basically from there, we're gonna do like a route up to a place called Rocky Valley, uh, which is uh, some sort of labyrinth of coves and we're gonna see what all that's about and then somehow head back to the car. So a bit of hiking, a bit of sightseeing, um, hopefully a bit of swimming in the waterfall at St. Nectons Glen. So just a bit of everything really. Anyway, I thought it was quite a nice thing to vlog for you today, so that's what I'm gonna do. know much about St. Nectons Glen. I sort of just googled some like hidden spots in Cornwall which is mainly what I do when I travel anywhere. I'm like oh find the hidden bits that people won't really know about. So it is just a massive waterfall basically that you can swim in at the bottom or paddle in. I'm not quite sure on the depth. Um, I will let you know but the plan is to get there and have a little paddle and bottom and it's really beautiful actually. So we're going through this absolutely stunning, it's gorgeous just woodland. It's so beautiful this woodland. Uh, and just the sound of the stream and everything so it's really peaceful and yeah I can totally see why this is a, a little hidden gem of Cornwall. I say this, I feel like it's it's probably not that hidden and everyone knows about it um, but I certainly didn't. I'm not really a, um, a busy person as in like I don't really like busy places particularly so I prefer to go and find the spots that are a bit quieter and a bit more untouched I would say. So I'm not really sure what to expect once we get there. I am expecting a massive massive waterfall in amongst this gorgeous wilderness so yeah it's pretty wicked anyway i'll just uh, i'll continue showing you how how beautiful this place is hey so we've just stopped off in a cafe which is right next to st nectar's glen uh, so we're just going to grab a quick hot chocolate and then head down. It's like 4 p.m. and it closes at 5, so we've only got like an hour, but that's fine. Um, and it did cost six pounds per adult to come in here today. Uh, that's just obviously a standard price, um, but that's quite pricey, isn't it? It's quite pricey, I thought. Um, only because I wasn't expecting to pay anything, and I thought it might be like a donation sort of thing, but no, six pounds to enter. So we just got down to where the waterfall is. So just a little bit on footwear. Um, it is really, really, really muddy actually. So I would 100% recommend wearing walking boots or even wellies. I've seen quite a few people wearing wellies as well. So um, I fully recommend either of those two footwear and then maybe bring a towel or something to dry your feet after.
sick vibe and catch up with you again. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning area. It really is beautiful. Ah, so nice. Everywhere's just surrounded by like all these amazing ribbons and I'm guessing yeah, people's prayers and people like engrave lots of things on these rocks. I'm just really enjoying the atmosphere I suppose. It is quite busy actually, a bit busier than I would expect. Still able to find a little quiet spot. Next in Glen has not disappointed me. It's uh, yeah, really, really beautiful. We're in Rocky Valley. It is very, very windy. It's, uh, it's incredibly windy actually. So thank God I bought this little mic cover. So hopefully you can hear me perfectly. But yeah, it's fab. Really, really cool. We, it's like, it's just ace. We're sort of literally walking in a valley, a rocky valley, would you imagine? So um, yeah, it's really cool. So uh, we're, we're gonna head down to the sea, but I just wanted to catch up and just say hello again. So here we are. I'm just gonna head down to the sea and I'll show you a bit more of the view. Day. just a really nice day to just do something a bit different in Cornwall especially in the north uh, on the north coast just so many beautiful look, like landscapes and things around here so really recommend especially doing Rocky Valley that is 100% a top recommendation our evening plan is to go to back to Newquay just now and we're gonna go to one of the I think most well-known beaches in Newquay called Fistral Beach and that is where we're gonna watch the sunset for the evening so I think we're gonna head straight there because it's getting on a bit so that's seven o'clock in the evening and the sun sets in about an hour and a half. So we really need to get a move on so we can catch the sunset. So I hope you've really enjoyed this vlog, showing you some other areas of Cornwall that, uh, yeah, just gorgeous. And if you haven't already seen my previous Cornwall vlog, please do. Um, camping in Cornwall, I put the link just at the top um, somewhere here for you. Um, but yeah, and let me know what you think of that as well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.